welcome to another YouTube video. Hope you guys are having a great week. It's been really great um, because of Christmas and the holidays. And this year itself has been very exciting. I graduated, I started working and I started this YouTube channel. So it has been a really exciting year and I can't wait for the next one. So along with it, I thought why not start a new project and recently there's been so much talk going on about chatbots and everyone's trying to create one and i thought i'm gonna jump on the bandwagon and start designing one myself because it, i've read a bunch about it and it seems really interesting i'm gonna take you on in the process hmm. so i have my laptop here that's what i keep looking at it's just that along with this video i'm also going to be publishing a medium article on chatbot so i was writing an article about it so i thought i might as well just <laughs> you know have that as a cheat sheet for me to go on with the video anyways so what is a chatbot so you know i created something like a chatbot i didn't know it was a chatbot i just created a dashboard hoping to um you know sort of have like a conversational dashboard it'll be really cool you'll ask it numbers and it's gonna tell you the exact figures that you want to know it'll be nice for a ceo or something like that i created something like that not knowing what it is and later once i started using google alerts like wait this seems something like what i created i don't know i would have got this idea from something that i saw similar but i didn't know it was called chatbot and so it was one it's one kind of chatbot because there are two types of chatbot one is a program chatbot which i made um that is something where you pre-feed it with answers so it kind of when you ask it a question it takes the string of questions and it kind of finds an answer that is related to it so sort of like an if else statement if this is a question then this is the answer it's a really long if else statement but it's something like that and the second one is a artificial intelligence chatbot which uses machine learning to predict your answer it's a little more complicated i mean it's something that collects data and becomes intelligent with more data so the more data it collects from you the more intelligent it gets to uses is uh, you can use it in a messaging service like say Google Allo or Facebook Messenger. You're chatting with a person, you want to uh, immediately, while you're chatting, you want to find out what are the nearby restaurants to go to or you want to schedule a uh, appointment with them or you want to find out the way to their house and you want Google Maps to pull it up immediately. So anything of that sort you can do in the messaging service that's one kind of a chatbot the other kind is like you go to a retail site or your travel website and you you know you that, that friendly modal window that pops up on the side with the name jenny or something like that and they ask you like hello do you need some help or something like that so that could be a human but nowadays it's being replaced by a chatbot so that's something like it asks you stuff and it tries to help you so what are some of the things that the chatbots can be used for help you with your online purchases such as retail shopping and travel like i told before it can schedule meetings tasks with your friends and family so you don't have to uh while you're chatting it's going to just automatically do it for you you don't have to go out of the browser or go to your calendar and you know fix an appointment and everything the third thing is it helps people get awareness so there's been like a few um, projects done by IDEO so what they did is um, they created like the Zika bot and th two other bots which kind of help people so it will basically ask people questions and it'll try to find out if they know about Zika virus or and if they don't know then it's going to give them the information so it's sort of like a um chatting uh it's also this health white health uh bot that it kind of chats with the person and gives them awareness so that's a really uh, useful bot so it can chat with people who visit your social media so it's a great way to make connections so if you're a really popular person or even if you're not if you have a lot of people coming to your site and this bot can sort of greet them and help them and um, you know collect useful information about them so that when you have time you can go through that and if you think there's some useful connection you can connect with that person so it's, it kind of makes your site more interactive even with you not being constantly on it to engage with people 
The fifth one is it finds and provide necessary numbers from dashboards to executive. So that is something that I want to do. Um, I want to build like a dashboard which converses with people. So, so the CEO can just go be like, give me the numbers from yesterday. And he don't, doesn't have to go through the entire dashboard try and find out the answers he can just get it with a message or also he can be in a conversation with an analyst or a consultant or a manager and while they're chatting they can get the answers themselves and they can schedule meetings among them so it could be like a really nice chatbot dashboard that is something that i'm really interested in doing uh with design prototyping and conducting user research so ideo did that what they did is they used a chatbot to collect user research they conducted surveys and questionnaire which so they don't have to personally one-on-one -on -one sit with a user or they don't have to connect you know because surveys are something that never can fulfill what you want to do because i know so many people who don't like filling out surveys i personally don't like filling out surveys as soon as i see a survey i just close the laptop or i just close the window so surveys are something that not a lot of people like to do and this chatbot is really cool because it kind of makes the user think that you're chatting with a person and giving them answers so this is like a really nice way to collect information do user research and help them in prototyping because you can focus on other stuff life advice and counseling so if you're really down and if you want to chat with someone a human is obviously very expensive and but everybody wants life counseling everybody wants advice every day of their life it's something that is very crucial so what are some tips to keep in mind while designing a chatbot i'm not sure of everything but the basic thing is it should have a persona you know it cannot be a robot you should okay so there's two things you cannot trick a human into thinking that the chatbot is not a bot but it's a human it's okay to, for them for the users to think that it's a bot that's totally fine don't make it seem like a human but at the same time give the bot, bot a person human like responses not like a robot you know show empathy towards the users that is something that is very important so that the users feel connected with the chatbot the second one is create the chat such that you you're not just collecting information you're not just conversing but you're also providing them with useful insights you're providing them with valuable information because they don't want to leave knowing that okay i didn't get anything from this i just was chatting with a random person so they really have to feel like they got something out of it the third thing is don't make a chatbot do complex tasks you know leave that for the humans if have a prompt in if if suppose the task is getting really complicated have a prompt so that the user can select it and talk to a human directly because complex tasks can really mess a chatbot and you know it can go haywire from there the fourth thing is have an option for a way out for the user because if it can get too overwhelming or they just don't want to chat with the bot anymore so have a way out so that they can just close it and go and do what they came to do thing is don't have too many bots on one side you know every page you open you have a new bot it's like okay i i don't it's it's crazy you don't want to do that so have just one bot where it's necessary you don't have too many bots um always monitor your bot because you want to know what information the bot is providing is meaningful is useful and is correct because any incorrect information or any invaluable information can be very bad for the user and it can really affect them really affect you as well so always monitor your bot and keep a simple and clean messaging user interface you don't want to have too many jazzy things going on uh, right now everything is about clean and um, precise look so have a clean chat like interface don't try too many like jazzy things uh, the next video will probably be about what chatbot i exactly want to build and how i go about starting it i probably will be starting off with like a survey questionnaire wireframing or a storyboarding session or something like that um, but do subscribe below so that you can stay tuned and you can find out more about it and if you like this video please share and like it and i'll see you again next week have a wonderful wonderful new year i hope you all the success next year and i hope you start great projects and you succeed in them and i hope it 
gives you joy in doing all that because no matter how hard you work it is always good to have some time for yourself and to be happy and to give some time to people who love you and the people you love because right now every i know so many people who overwork themselves and who don't have time to spend with their family and friends which is really sad because you really have to do that so this year i think it's good to work but at the same time make sure you give enough time to your family and friends and your loved ones it's really important to do that because no matter how many chat words you have no matter what nobody can ever replace a human nobody can ever replace the love of a human so please 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 have remember this and have a great new year i'll see you again next year bye